Today we're going to talk about giving your cat subcutaneous fluids, but by yourself, if you don't have anyone to help you. So I think what you need to do is get some sort of enclosure that makes your cat feel comfortable and you can even use an old Amazon box or, or an empty clean litter box or the bottom of a carrier with a towel in it like we're doing here. And you can see Peep is trying to run away. He doesn't want to be here for this. And so that's where the box sort of helps give you a little bit more to sort of like hug him into you. Being on a high countertop or even your washing machine helps get the height up a little bit so you can sort of like lean into these little guys. So then come around here, what we're gonna do is there's two main spots that you can give sub-Q fluids to your cat. Traditionally, right between your shoulder blades, right here is where you've got all this extra skin. But if your cat is really angry about this and you need to sort of cover them with a towel, all right, and then sort of smoosh them down a little bit, this little spot right here over the hips is another tricky spot where you can get sub Q fluids into your cat. All right? But with a nice boy like Peep, we're going to come up here and hopefully things are going to go well. So I like to essentially use my non dominant hand. I'm, I'm right handed. So my left hand to sort of pick up the skin for the sub Q fluids. And I'm going to come from this direction. So you see how he's being a good boy. And I just go ahead and insert that. Now, once it's in, I take a minute, give him some scratches, tell him he's a good boy, corral him. Or if he's really trying to run away, you can grab a little bit of the scruff and you can wiggle. And this will distract him and restrain him at the same time. I know, I'm sorry. You're such a good boy. Then you can go ahead. Turn on your fluids. And then you can just keep a hand here to give this a little bit of flexibility as the fluids are flowing in. And then just take this minute to head scratch your kitty cat. Another place you might be able to do this is taking the box or the carrier like this and maybe putting it over top of your um, bathroom sink so that, you know, again, the height is up and if things go horribly wrong and the cat jumps out of the carrier and runs away, he's only in the bathroom and you can pick him back up, set him on the carrier again, and you can work again. So we want to try and make this sort of as low stress as possible for them. But at the same time, you know, if you need to really sort of hold on to your cat, hold on to your fluids and then still scratch your cat's head or give him a little bit of a scruff at the same time, that can really help you. All right. Good luck. Thanks.